to my channel to Strong Minds of Tahar. If you are new here, my name is Joelle. And if you're not new here, I'm so sorry that it has been so long since I made a video. I just thought, you know what? I'm putting on the camera and I'm going to make a quick video. This is not scripted. This is not planned out. I just wanted to hop on here and just share from my heart, say hello, uh, let you know where I'm at and what's happening. I know I did an update video probably two months ago um, because it had also been a while since I had made a video. Um, this year, guys, I'll tell you what, this year has been something else. <laughs> and so uh, very quickly, if you are new here, my name is Joelle. As I said, I'm married to David and we have five beautiful children who we homeschool. My husband is a pastor and a school teacher and I am at home full time with our five kids. And I love to share all things mum life, lots of grocery hauls and I want to do so much more. I'm so frustrated because I want to do so much more and I'm just not able to do that at the moment. But I want to give you an update as to what's going on, what's happening, where I'm at and what I'm hoping to get to. So as I said, this is not scripted. It's, it might be a little bit choppy, but here we go. So this year, 2023, I tell you what, it has been a different year for me. I'm not going to say it's been a bad year because it hasn't. It's had a lot of uh, good things so far as well, but it has absolutely been a challenging year for us. I said in the other update video, um, different things that had happened towards the beginning of the year, it had been a bit of a rough start. Um, and here we are at the very end of March going into April. And again, this has just been a year so far that is stretching me and growing me um, and it has not been easy but thank you god his strength is made perfect in my weakness and i am i am trying but i just wanted to hop on here to you know ugh, okay i'm being very raw here but you know i i smile a lot if you know me in person i'm i'm always going to smile and that's just my personality and I know I've always got, I'm trying to say something positive all the time, but the truth is I really do struggle. And if you've been on this channel uh, for long enough, you would know that I've had mental health um, issues in the past. And I don't say that like as a, a tokenistic sort of thing. I have genuinely struggled with mental health and had severe depression, um, severe anxiety in the past that has lasted for many years. And I still have to fight it at times. I still have times. I, it doesn't consume me. It's not a daily thing anymore. Thank God it used to be though for many years. Um, but I do have seasons where, especially if I have a lot going on, I find things a lot more challenging. And so that absolutely has been a big part of this year for me. I have found myself in a place where I'm facing that giant again from time to time. I praise God it's a giant that we have defeated before and it's not uh, new to me. And so I definitely have strategies and, you know, plans in place uh, on how to combat that and how to work through that. But it's not been an easy, easy year for me. Um, particularly as a mum, I have found myself struggling. I have had so much mum guilt because I do struggle and then I'm not able to be there for my kids the way I want to be there. Um, and so that's really weighed on me a lot this year. So basically, uh, where are we? We're the end of March. I think the last time I gave you an update, we were sort of end of February. I don't even know. So I've lost, I've lost track of all the all time. I'm sorry, but uh, you know, life-wise, everything's going okay. Everything's going well. Um, my husband is working very hard um, in his pastoring role, and I support him in that. Um, we are new pastors, and so it's all very new to me. And for me personally, it has stretched me, and it is growing me. The Lord is using this to. <laughs> push my capacity to further than what I've ever done before. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. It's it's a good thing. And I, I praise God for it, but it's certainly had its challenges and it continues to have its challenges. It's also very um, rewarding. It's so rewarding. It's it's an amazing work that we get to do and that we're privileged to do. But that is a, a big part of my life now. And as I said, I love being my husband's running partner. I love being his support and um, it's stretching us both. And although it is hard at times, it's also making us grow closer to God. It's helping us to grow closer to each other. It's helping our children and us to, to grow closer to each other. Because when you face things 
as families and especially our kids because they're home with us and they are so a part of everything that we do. Um, you know, we're growing together. I can hear one of my kids coming, so I'm gonna hit pause one second. Okay, I'm back. That was my two-year-old and I made her a bottle and she's happy and she's watching Berenstein Bears. I don't know, does anyone here know the Berenstein Bears? Oh wow, just side topic. I used to love them. I just remember, I didn't watch them all the time, but I remember every now and then, I know I'm Australian, but I'm also American. And so somehow that got over to me here in Australia. I don't know if it was when I was visiting relatives overseas. I don't know how, but somehow I got hooked onto the Berenstein Bears. Love their books. Maybe that's what it was. My mum had some of their books as well. Um, but we have found like every episode on YouTube and now we are all obsessed and my kids love them. So, hey, win for the Berenstein Bears. Bring back the Berenstein Bears. Anyway, so I am a little bit sidetracked. What was I saying? Uh, church. So church is going well. Homeschooling is also going well, but it's not been without its challenges. Um, this year we have... Uh, realized for a certainty that we are dealing with a learning disability with one of my children and that has been a challenge for for the child and also for me personally as a homeschool mum I felt a lot of guilt about that um I've had to work through a lot of emotions and I still am because I feel like I haven't you know although I've tried my best I haven't given the best to this child and I feel like we could have saved a lot of heartache and a lot of tears and a lot of um yeah a lot of hardship basically so um we are in the process of having everything diagnosed officially but we are a hundred percent certain um and also getting some assistance and some help and some special tutoring and that sort of thing and so that is going to be a blessing but it has been really hard um, getting to this point and it continues to be a bit of a challenge um my consistency with homeschool has been <laughs> has been like waves um on a positive i have found a wonderful homeschool group uh to be part of here in canberra it's taken me a while but i finally found a group that you know we don't go every week but we are going you know probably every second week and the kids have made some really good friends um and one of the ladies there was sort of asking our style or i can't remember how the conversation uh, was brought up, but I basically said, you know, <laughs> I'm really good at going all in, doing all the book work, being really consistent, checking everything off, and then completely switching it off and unschooling. Like I have two modes and they're literally opposite to each other, like full on homeschool, like Charlotte Mason style, sit down, memorization, um, book work, handwriting, everything, like ticking every box, and then literally unschooling, life learning, go at your own pace, follow your own interests. And so we've had a lot of both this year, I would say equally. Um, and so that's been interesting. I think it's actually been good in a way because it makes the, by the time we get to the book work, everybody's really motivated and ready to do it. And then we do a certain amount and then we sort of hold it and go do all of our own interests. And let me tell you, I, I've made videos on this before don't knock unschooling. It is so powerful. It's such a powerful way of learning and the kids develop so well. So both work, um, but I myself have struggled a bit in that department. My kids are doing well. They are thriving. Thank you, God. Kids are resilient and amazing and God just creates their minds majestically. Like their minds are unbelievable. But uh, for me as their mum, I think just because of my own personal things I've sort of been dealing with, I have found it a little bit of a challenge this year so far. In saying that, we are about to go on a holiday. Oh, thank you, God. And my husband is very good at encouraging me in that area. In He's like, Joe, don't forget that you're just really tired. I know that it's only the beginning of the year, but for us, we the last time we took a break as a family was um, end of March last year. So it's been a full 12 months since we've stopped as a family and just completely taken time off from everything. And so we're really looking forward to that. We're going to go camping and do a bunch of uh, fun stuff together. So that will be wonderful. And then I believe and pray that when we get back, I will be uh, a bit more recharged. Re recharged and um, ready to get going with the year again. So homeschooling's going well. Um, 
house hunting house hunting is exciting i uh, i did make it in the last update video that we were house hunting which is like amazing that we are even in that position we've never been in this position before we are so looking forward to owning our own home we are still very much um you know open eyes you know aware and and searching but we're not like going gun ho if you know what i mean um with the interest rates being so high uh we are not rushing although the prices of housing has come down slightly we do believe that with another six months to a year of savings, we would be in a better position as far as our repayments and that sort of thing. At the same time though, if um, an opportunity came up, a house or a property that was just, we knew that that was the one and we were able to act on it, then we would. Um, so we're sort of just uh, really flexible with that at the moment and I have a complete peace and trust in God that in the right timing, uh, we will know and we will find that home. So in the meantime, I am really loving watching House Hunters. I think that's so fun. That's the best show. They've got their own channel on YouTube. So whenever I'm doing dishes, I put on an episode of House Hunters and that's really motivating me. Um, although I have to say like, oh, oh my goodness, like the, the prices in America, and I know that it's all relative, like with salary and that sort of thing as well, but still like the houses in America are so beautiful. And I was watching an episode and it's pretty modern, like it's not outdated or anything. It was just from this year or last year. Um, I was watching an episode of House Hunters and it's like this five bedroom, two and a half story home on two acres with three bathrooms and a beautiful backyard and it was like five hundred thousand dollars here in canberra you can't buy a small house for five hundred thousand dollars you you can't even buy a townhouse for five hundred thousand dollars and so in some ways it's fun and then in other ways it gets a little bit discouraging because the prices even though houses uh the prices have come down they are still so unbelievably expensive we're not afraid to downsize i said that in the last video um but at the same time when you're seeing these other houses like that are huge for you know that that amount it's, it does get a little bit discouraging but we know that god has got the house for us and so we're not panicked. Um, again, I don't know if it will be the sort of thing that we buy and it's a stepping stone um, on our way to another house. I would love to one day, although I'm not afraid to downsize, I would love to be in a position where we've got that house. We've got five kids. We want to have a house one day where as our kids grow up and they get married and they bring their families back, like we've got that house, you know what I mean? That, that house <laughs> at Christmas time where everybody can come and uh, you know, there's rooms for people to stay in and yeah, I just, oh, I have that dream. So the Lord knows. And I don't think that we can afford that house right now. <laughs> I mean, miracles happen, but, um, it could be the sort of thing that we step up on our way to that, but we'll see either way. I'm just so blessed and excited to even be in the opportunity to be looking like that is just amazing for us so yeah that's sort of where things are at the moment i'm working on my health i'm working on my mental health i'm really trying to be proactive about it as i said it's been a bit of a roller coaster i haven't had a relapse i wouldn't call it a relapse because i'm not um i'm not stuck there thank god um but i have certainly had a few days here and there that have been quite discouraging and hard and um, as I said though when you've gone through it you know and it's you know you've got the battle scars to show it and, um, and Dave's gone through it with me too and the kids have gone through it with me and so everybody's aware and I'm not saying that it's easy but it's not as scary because we've been there before and um, so we know what to do and in those times I just go okay it's one of those days it's just one of those days. And so we don't do much on those days or I do the things I can do and don't worry about anything else. So I'm working on that. I'm trying to uh, get my energy levels back up. I'm sort of looking into a few different things um, of what I can personally be doing for myself. I know I need to get, you know, exercising. I know that giving energy gets energy and all of that, but it's just been such a struggle. I was, I was exercising, um, a lot better, you know, towards the end of the end. I cannot talk what's going on the end of last year. Um, but this year it just hit me like a, 
I was like running into a wall at the beginning of this year, basically. And I, I'm sort of just in this place of getting myself up and trying to dust that off and keep going. So I'm um, praying and hoping I'm going to have energy again soon that I need. I think that's my biggest frustration. It's just the, and I'm not complaining. I am so, I mean it. I am so abundantly blessed. I'm not just saying that. I'm not trying to just say the right thing. I know in my soul how blessed I am to have my five children and to be married to Dave and to do what we do. But I sometimes, and this has been my prayer and my cry to God is like, God, I don't feel equipped with the energy that it takes to do the things that I need to do. And that has been the biggest frustration for me because sometimes I feel like I spread myself so thin that I don't operate well in any department, if you know what I mean. And so then I'll put my attention on one and wow, that's going really well, but then everything else suffers. And then that's where the mum guilt comes in. And so it's just sort of being this um, ongoing, you know, balancing act. And it's, you know, and that's not to put my husband down in any way. He supports me very well. He's constantly helping me. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know any other men who help as much in the home as he does. I'm sure that they're out there, but I personally don't know. He helps me so much. Um, we help each other. We're a team. I help him in areas. He helps me in areas. And so we work together, but our load is big right now. It's not impossible, but it's big and it's certainly stretching us both. Um, and But at the same time, I know that this is this sort of year that I'm going to look back on and go, wow, God, you stretched us so much that year you grew our capacity so much in that year and um a scripture i just want to share that um is helping me maybe it can help you too is in 2 corinthians chapter 2 i sort of said it before earlier in the video but it says it's god's word and he says but he said to me my grace that's god thank you jesus my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest on me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And so, you know, I feel emotional reading that, but it's so true because when I am weak, I'm strong because it's not my strength. It's his strength that comes through me. And I think that's been a challenge and also a help for me as I have faced the things that I'm facing to remember that the weaker I am, the more grace I get from him, the greater his strength is in me. And so holding on to that promise, and that's why I'm not afraid to get on here and say, hey, I've been struggling. I've had my struggles with mental health. I've I've had my struggles with my homeschooling. I've had my struggles with fatigue and energy. These are my weaknesses, but I'll gladly boast about my weaknesses because when I'm weak, he's strong. And when I'm weak, his grace is sufficient for me. And so I hope that can encourage you too. If there's an area in your life where you're struggling, let God's strength come into you. Let him make you strong. Let his grace wash over you because we all need it so badly. So this is a bit of a different video from what I usually do, but really just felt on my heart. I wanted to jump on here and say hi, and I will be back. God willing, I will be back hopefully very soon. Um, yeah, just a couple more sort of crazy weeks ahead of me um, with a lot going on. Easter's coming up, which is very exciting, but very busy as well for us. So I think after Easter, I should be back to a bit of a more consistent place on YouTube, I hope. But thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for your patience and for sticking around. I so appreciate you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again very soon with another video. God bless. Take care. Bye.